Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 15. Before we get started here, I want to spend this one skill point that we have. I'm going to go intellect level 5, which will open up level 6 because we're wearing nerdy glasses. So the next time we level up, we can unlock the motorcycle because I'm already over the mini bike. It's too damn slow. I put in the bars last night on the rooftop, so those should hopefully protect us from birds tonight. And before we leave, I want to expand on this foundation. So I'm going to dig a little ditch around the base here, fill it in with blocks. And then we're going to go to Joel's Town. Uh, I'm going to raid the two POIs that I spoke about in the last episode, the Butcher Pete's and the cemetery across the street. But before we do that, we're going to go back to Bob's Boars. I totally forgot about that place. We left the main loot there. Plus, Grace is down in the caves below with all those dead bodies. That's a whole bunch of rotten flesh just waiting for us. So we're going to hit up Bob's Boars first. Then we'll go to Butcher Pete's, then the cemetery, and by the time we're done there, I'm sure it'll be time to come home, get ready to fight this horde. Alright, well, we leveled up there, so we might as well unlock the motorcycle now. Why wait? Now, I know I got some steel in storage, but I'm not sure if it's enough to craft a motorcycle. So we can just get some crafting right now. I already made some forged iron. 65 pieces, that's more than enough for the motorcycle. Let's just get it moving. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, what am I thinking? We need a crucible. We can't craft steel yet. That's all right. There, there are other ways we can get the steel we're going to need for the motorcycle. Well, that doesn't look right. Um, this is not good. Oh, just popped right out of there. Okay, <laughs> let's just pretend that never happened. Hey, boom, I'll see you later, okay? We're going to fight a horde tonight, so get yourself mentally prepared. Let's stop here first. I want to check Joel's vending machine and... I don't think he had mushroom spores for sale, but I'm going to go double check. Uh, sugar butts and eye candy and rockbuster candy. I'll take all that shit. All right, let's just go double check and see if Joel happened to have mushroom spores. I think I would have noticed, but I just want to make sure. No. We can check his stash, I guess. No. All right, he restocks tomorrow, so... We'll come see him either day 16 or 17 or possibly 18, because then it'll be three days from tomorrow that he restocks again. All right, let's go do Bob's Boars first, then we'll do Butcher Pete's and then the cemetery. I think we're just going to break in right through Grace's uh, cage. Go for the main stash first, make our way down to Grace. We're going to have to kill Grace, unfortunately, so she doesn't kill us, and we'll chop up all those dead bodies. Here we go. I guess there could be mushrooms down here. I don't remember there being any, though. I think it's just dead bodies. Let's grab these two. Grab this loot. And go deal with Grace. Hey, level 3 sledge turret. I'm gonna scrap that bat. So we'll use that tonight instead of the level 1. I'm going to hold on to the level 1, though. Because once we... Uh, well, by the time we max out Robotics Inventor, I probably will have even a better Sledge Turret. But we'll hold on to it anyway until we find a better one. Because once we unlock... Uh, or once we max out Robotics Inventor, we'll be able to use two of those things at the same time. Alright, before we wake up Grace... I can't upgrade these, right? No. Let's uh, reinforce this wall here, because she can break through those planks pretty quickly. Now, granted, we have a pistol, but still. I'm not taking any chances. I don't feel like getting killed by a giant green pig today. Wake up, you big green bitch. Your days of living down here alone in this cave are over. I'm actually doing you a favor, I guess. 
Oh, slow down there. Don't be trying to do anything crazy. She can take a lot of bullets, Grace. Gotta give her that. There she goes. Alright. Look at all this rotten flesh. Might as well carve up Grace, too. She actually, believe it or not, gives you regular meat. Which I wouldn't want to eat that shit. Even if I wasn't a fucking vegan. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's chop up these bodies and we'll get out of here. Hey, what are you doing down here, buddy? Oh, you brought a chicken with you? Well, if you're looking for a cockfight, you came to the wrong place. Let me save you some time. I know cockfights are roosters and not chickens. So you don't gotta go down in the comments and correct me. You gonna live down here then, chicken? Alright. See you later. You know, I just said it because it was a stupid joke. That's all this channel is. Just one long, drawn-out, stupid fucking joke. I went pretty well, though. Took care of Grace with no problem. Got a bunch of rotten flesh. Level 3 sledge turret. Got some decent loot. I'll take it. Let's go to Butcher Pete's now. Alright, some more rotten flesh. Can't complain about that. Let's get started here. Hey, another body. The skeleton bodies don't give you rotten flesh, just bones and nitrate powder. Which we need too, we need the nitrate powder for farm plots as well. Hey Mo, why don't you fuck off? You too, cheerleader. Nice. Alright, let's close this door. Hey, a couple of more bodies. Damn, don't ever eat from Butcher Pete's. Cause I don't think that's cow he's serving you. Damn, another body. Alright, well I had my suspicion, but now I'm pretty sure Butcher Pete was a serial killer. Yeah, actually, am I any better than Butcher Pete? I mean, I do a lot of killing myself here. I mean, granted, they're zombies, but... Killing is killing in my book. Nothing over here. Another body. <laughs> it's, it's getting crazy in here. Another body. Holy shit. Well, you know, that's why people love zombie movies and zombie games and stuff like that. Because, bottom line is, people just want to kill. And they want to kill other people. It's just in our nature. But, you know, it's immoral to kill other people. So, what do we do? We make them zombies. We take away their humanity. And then we can kill them in droves and feel good about it. Damn. They should call this place Beverage Pete's. On account of all the beverages. Eh? No? Fuck you. Brass, a whole bunch of money, and rocket launcher parts. What the hell was that lady doing with rocket launcher parts? I don't even want to know. Nothing in there. Alright, guess we're going out the wall here. Bird. Oh, look at that. Yes, we can harvest it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, well. If I remember, we'll harvest it when we leave. Another one. Ah, we can get that one now. Oh, yeah. ah, waking him up already. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta try harder than that, lady. Corn and a potato. Should just eat those things instead of keeping them in our inventory. Yeah, I'll hold on to them for now. Our hunger's doing well. We're a little hungry, but not too bad. Still got plenty of baked potatoes and pumpkin bread on us. Which uh, is doing us well. Keeping us fed all day. Sounds like another one fell from the ceiling.
maybe not. No, it's just a crawler. Oh shit. Chill, you crazy bastard. Shooting is so much easier than punching. You know, I have considered a guns-only series. Which could be interesting. I know it sounds easy, like where's the challenge, right? But you gotta think about the early game is gonna be tough and it's gonna be a scramble. Because if you can only kill zombies using firearms, you're gonna have to scramble to try and get yourself a blunderbuss as soon as possible. And all the zombies you encounter while trying to get that blunderbuss, you're gonna have to just avoid. You can't kill them. And granted, once you get your hands on guns and ammo, then it seems like easy street, right? Well, I don't know about that. Because I always go throughout my day using a melee weapon to conserve ammo. But now, if you gotta only use firearms, you're gonna be running through a decent amount of ammo, but then does it just become a grind for ammo? I don't know. I don't know how it would play out because I've never tried it before. These tiles are gonna give out. Ah, oh, shit. All right, let's get back up there. We could do like a one-off experimental video and just do like day one guns only because that's going to be the most interesting day anyway, day one. See if I could actually get my hands on a gun uh, before I get killed, you know, or if I'm able to avoid the zombies and grab the loot. So maybe we'll give that a try and see how day one goes. Um, I'm good on both of those things. Hey, level four pistol. That is nice. It's more ammo and a mod. Now we can scrap this level three if we want for more pistol parts that we can use to craft an SMG eventually. I'm gonna scrap both of those things. And uh, I'll just hold on to my level three pistol for now. Not a big deal. All right, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just, uh, wait, is there anything up here? A purse. How did this purse get up here? Uh, I'm good on that shit as well. Let's see, can we just hop off? Oh, I'm gonna sprain my leg. Uh, here we go. Boop. 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 And we're done. Hey, there's that bird. Well, no mushrooms at Butcher Beats, but we got some more rotten flesh. Some decent loot. Can't complain. Let's search this car and then we're gonna do this cemetery. And then at that point we'll probably just head home. Shotgun choke mod, scrap these other things. And let's get started here. We got some graves to dig up. Nothing. 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 What the hell? I got stiffed. I got stiffed by a bunch of stiffs. Get it? Because the dead bodies and... Oh, fuck you. This is bullshit. Yeah, both of you in your own graves. Look at that. Fucking grave digger Glock over here. Hey, more shotgun rounds. Hop seed. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. What the hell? We'll grow some beer at the farm. Why wouldn't we? Plus, I actually think we have a hop seed in storage. I just haven't planted it yet. Single storage pocket mod. It's not really gonna help us out. Hey, look at that. Our first mushroom spore. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Come on down. I know you're up there. Oh, landed on your feet. There go your knees. Oh, damn, lady. She didn't even try to land on her feet. Blue. 
Uh, let's see. Do we have any cloth? No. Let's grab some. We'll turn that glue into duct tape. All right, down into the crypts we go. Hour 15, we're looking good. We'll get through this shit quickly here. Have plenty of time to get home, harvest some crops, gear up, and then get into position. Let's pop this open. Sleeper. Oh, now she's sleeping forever. Oh, I got a little backpack in here. And uh, day 15, this will be our third horde here at the farm. Oh, good night, Kenny. So I think this will really give us... Uh, I don't think it'll be a crazy big horde, but it'll definitely be a decent sized horde. And I think it'll give us a better idea on how this pit base is going to hold up against a larger sized horde. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? This is the Matrix. They just turned around in midair. Uh, those gloves I will scrap. Definitely taking that helmet, though. Sells for a good amount. Glass jars I'm good on. We don't have much inventory space here, so... Um we might have to go up to the bike. Ooh, read that antibiotics recipe. Take the shotgun shells. Uh, yeah, we may have to go drop some shit off. I don't have any inventory space, really. Um, well, there's some stuff we can get rid of, like this one piece of gunpowder. So, uh, not too worried about it. Let's just go deal with the rest of the zombies that are going to pop out of here. And see what we're looking at in terms of loot. And then we'll figure out what to get rid of. See if we can be sneaky about this. Nope. Everyone's awake. Alright, where's that monkey? There he is. Come on, what the fuck? Again. He's little, I thought he was going to jump over my head. He just stops in midair. Turns around and smacks me. All right, I'm going to scrap the military helmet and this level one sledge turret. Um, let's do this. Let's just read all these recipes, get the XP for them, open up a little room. Okay, well, I want that sledgehammer. Not to use it, but to sell it. Let's just drink these uh, goldenrod teas. Drink both of them. We'll take the sledgehammer. And get out of here. Oh, this is good. First it's sunken in the ground. Now it's floating in the air. Hope those aren't bad omens. Let's get home and get ready. Got plenty of time here. So no rushing, which I like. Every time I rush, I always forget something. And uh, like I was saying in the, in the catacombs... I think it'll be a decent sized horde tonight so we can see just how well this pit base does. If it does great, then um, I want to focus on adding electricity to it. Dart traps, electric fence posts, things like that. If it doesn't do that great, then uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought of a backup plan just yet, but I'm sure we can think of something. some coming in from the north. Here we are. Come on into the pit, fuckers. 
Hey! Up the ladder! What are you doing, fools? Don't attack that pole. Get in the pit. Come on, up the ladder. Oh, I don't like this at all. Why aren't they going for the ladder? Let's, uh... Let's see if I can do this here without setting myself on fire. Nope. Apparently I can't. Son of a bitch. I thought I could get a Molotov through that opening. Might have to open up another set of bars here. So we have an easy way to get Molotovs down into the pit. Oh, shit. I'm on fire again. Damn it, the bars must have still been hot. Oh, that sucked. Not, a, not the best way to start. And this is fucking crazy right now. None of the zombies are going for the ladder. Oh, did that guy just go for it? No, he's just getting pushed out of the way by the uh, turret. There we go. I get some fire down on that angle. Still not the uh, best way to throw Molotovs. I'm going to have to think about how we can make that better. Even though, if these zombies don't start going for the ladder, then this base is pointless. I don't understand. All they did is go for the ladder the last couple of Horde Knights. Now, not one of them has yet. I mean, these, these guys don't even want to go down in the pit. It's like for some reason they don't see the ladder as a viable way to get to me anymore. The only thing I changed was, was the rooftop I put in. Oh, you fuck, stop knocking my trees over. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe they all had a conference meeting and was like, listen, this guy thinks he's smart. Here's what we're going to do. Fuck ladders. Catch this, you fucks. Oh, two went out. That's fun. I didn't mean to throw two, though. Let's try that again. There we go. Only one went out that time. I can't believe this shit isn't working. What if I get on the ladder? Come on, you fucks. I'm right here. Come get me. This sucks. This, this is not working. I don't get it. Well, you know, this is a great place to throw a Molotov from. Nothing in our way now. That's a beautiful sight right there. Two went out again with these pipe bombs. That used to be a glitch. You would throw a pipe bomb and, and like a whole bunch would go out at once. I thought they fixed that. Well, so much for the sledge turret. It's not really doing anything. Would have been nice to have a shooting junkie in there instead of the sledge turret. Sledge turret's really not doing anything. And these zombies, they just don't want to go down in the pit. I mean, some of them are falling in the pit. But it's not working the way it's supposed to work. Like a normal pit base, this is what happens. The zombies kind of avoid the pit. They attack your support column. Some of them fall down in. That's why I built it this way. Because I thought the ladder would be the thing that draws them in the pit because they see the ladder as a way to get to me. And it did work for the first couple of Horde Knights. It's not working tonight for some reason, though. Well, that's it. The rest of the zombies are beating on the damn barn. Oh, here comes some more. Get in the pit, you fuckers. I don't even want to go look and see what they're doing to the barn. It's pissing me off. I mean, I kind of want to jump down there. Run around for a little bit. Maybe stir them up. Jump down in the pit and then climb up the ladder. See if they follow me. I mean, I know it's not the smartest idea, but... This is me we're talking about. If anyone can pull it off, I can, right? Right? No? Fuck you. Well, things could always be worse. You know, just ask that guy. Well, the sledge turret isn't working. I may have been shooting it a bunch of times. So here's what we're going to do. Drink this Mega Crush. 
Hop down there, grab this thing, and then go for the ladder. Oh, shit. Let's open this gate. Get out of my way, lady. All right. You got the sledge turret. Let's take a look at it. Yep. Let's uh, repair it. And uh, I'll think about what I want to do with it. Probably just hold on to it. Wasn't doing much there anyway. Except getting shot by me. Hey, look, Moe's coming up the ladder. He's the only one, though. Man, are they just all in the barn? This is pissing me off. You know what we're gonna do? Something stupid. Alright, you fuckers. Come get some. Let's, uh... Let's do this. We'll go in here. Pop this up. And deal with these fuckers right in the window. Let's pop that up, too, just in case. And, uh... This should work out. For a moment, anyway. At least I get them all to pile up here. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. And I don't have any iron to repair these hatches. So, we're gonna have to get out of this death trap pretty soon. Or this is gonna end up being our coffin. Yes. All right, not bad, actually. Bitch. Let's open this up. Lead them back to the pit. You know what? Let's try what we were going to do before. Jump in the pit. Go up the ladder. See if they'll follow. Come on. Oh, motherfuckers. They just don't want to play nice tonight. Well, let's hop down there again, see what's going on. Hey, Pumba, it's crazy, right? I know, I'm taking care of it. Where are these fuckers at? I know they're beating on something. Or is that just the zombies in the pit I'm hearing? Oh, you bastards! Are they beating on my wall over here? You better not be fucking my crops up, you pieces of shit. All right, now that I got their attention... Oh, shit. They were closer than I thought. Let's lead them this way. Come on. Jump in. Man. We're gonna have to seriously rethink this. Oh, shit. You fucks. One of them pushed me off the ladder. That is unbelievable. I may have underestimated them slightly. Let's use a bandage for this abrasion. We gotta eat some honey for this infection. And there's nothing we can do about that sprained uh, leg or arm or whatever it is. Oh shit! Cops are showing up now? Damn, I underestimated the size of this horde also. I didn't think we were going to get cops tonight. This is crazy. I don't know what to do moving forward. I mean, I guess we should just concentrate on the, the problem at hand first before I start thinking about the future. But I don't know if this is just a fluke or what. Either way, we definitely need to build some sort of other base or structure or something before the next horde night and then we can try this again and if it's still not working we need something we can fall back to i mean i've, I've left this uh hatch open all night I and mean, for fuck's sake i was on the ladder itself just hanging out they still wouldn't go up the ladder all right i think we're at the end of it here so i'm going to repair this ak and then bring down this sledge turret, and we're gonna hop down here. Put the sledge turret at the entryway right there. Come on! Fucking damn it, lady. And we're gonna fight the rest of them here, in this room. At least- oh, shit, that, that woman wasn't dead. At least here, they're all coming to me. I don't gotta chase them. Oh, shit! Pumba, what are you doing? Go back to your little spot. Oh, what are you attacking me for? 
Oh, shit has really hit the fan now. Everybody close your eyes, don't watch this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Should have reloaded first. God damn it. Oh, my God. This is not how this was supposed to end. Let's use a bandage. Holy shit. Not good. Not good at all. Wow. I don't know how we made it out of there alive. I think this monkey's the last one. Nope, Kenny. Kenny was hiding behind the cop. Is that it? Nope, I hear zombies beating on something. There are probably some down in the pit. Alright, well. Pumba, rest in peace, little buddy. Let's use a splint. All right, that should be all of them. What a shit show. We lost Pumbaa. We lost the practicality of this base. Didn't work at all. Let's eat this eye candy. Grab these loot bags. We're going to have to do some serious thinking. Luckily, this isn't like a hoard every night scenario. So we've got five more days to figure this out and get something else built or modify this in some way. So definitely got to put some thought into how we're going to do it, or what we're going to do. Hey, there's the steel we need for the motorcycle. Oh, treasure map. Let's read that thing. Northwest. Up here. Okay, we'll go grab that maybe tomorrow, in the next episode or whatever. Uh, yeah, we had 21 pieces of steel in inventory, and you need 25 pieces for the motorcycle chassis. We just picked up eight, so we can go ahead and get the motorcycle crafted. One good thing that came out of this night. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're not uh, mad at me. Too bad for doing what I had to do to Boomba. He left me no choice. Anyway, <laughs> let me get this stuff put away and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 16. Guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown and I will catch you guys in the next episode.